hello everyone welcome back to my channel prince automation destination so today we are going to cover another interesting topic from the selenium point of view that is how to manage the driver so when we execute our test cases using web driver selenium web driver so meaning as soon as we write this particular line of code web driver driver equal to new chrome driver it looks for one driver exe in your system and then uh, whatever the commands that we are passing here it will then pass on to the browser okay so in simple words we can understand this as a uh, intermediary between the browser and this particular java library right so if it won't be available we won't be able to execute the test cases because this is the driving agent we can say and using this we are just triggering the test cases and this is the medium through which we will execute the test cases right so if you remember or if we can say like initially when selenium came into the picture we used to download the chrome driver.exe from the internet and we used to provide the path of driver executable or chrome driver exe using the system.set property and then after we used to write this particular line of code web driver driver equal to new chrome driver right so this was the first case and then after uh, people uh, bonnie gracia is a person who realize like we should have some automated way to download the driver right instead of writing the system.set property we should have some automated way of downloading the chrome driver the one this one right so what he did he developed one uh, like external dependency using which we are able to download the chrome driver exe now right so we don't need to write system.set property anymore now when selenium 4 came into the picture we don't need to have even the web driver manager so what happened in in case of selenium 4 in selenium 4 even uh, what bonnie gracia did bonnie gracia integrated his changes into the selenium 4 and thus whatever the changes were there in web driver manager to download the driver they are now part of selenium 4 and same is now being taken care by one of the class in selenium selenium manager right so as this is the important topic and entry point for the execution so this becomes the interview question as well right so let us try to understand from the demonstration perspective right so we will try to understand all three right so what i'm going to do i'm simply going to create a project right so i'm starting from the scratch this time so i'm clicking on file clicking on new and then clicking on project right i'm now going to give it name driver demo right and i'm going to select language as java because we are writing in java and i'm going to select build system as maven so because we are using the maven project and the jdk is 11 right so i'm pointing to jdk 11 so we should have jdk installed in our system right now i'm going to click on new as soon as i click on new i will now you can choose this option or this option if you will choose this this particular window will get closed and your project will open here if you will click on this new window what will happen in this case we will have uh, this particular project got open right now as this is a maven project so we will have one pom.xml which is which is helpful in managing the dependency meaning the libraries which we need right and now coming to the structure so as per maven uh, there are like two sections one is src main java and another is src test java so in java section i am going to write uh, one class driver demo right and here psvm the main method i'm going to create so if i'll now try to write web driver i won't be able to find it why because i don't have this dependency available in my system so how i will get so first of all i'll go to this pom.xml and here i'll provide dependencies so this is one block that we need to add then after you can download the dependency from the uh, internet and you can download this particular line of code so this is selenium 3 uh, which i'm taking initially right and after adding this what we need to do we need to click on maven and we need to reload this project meaning we need to reload the maven so as soon as we will reload this project we will start we will be able to use this right so you can see that i have started seeing this uh, we started seeing this uh, underline and as soon as we hover over here 
we will uh, be able to import this so we are able to import this particular uh, like library right so now we are going to write new chrome driver right so let us discuss the first case right system dot set property even without system dot set property what will happen right so what i'm going to do i am simply we let us use one simple example so driver dot get is to uh, launch the application right so uh, let us open google.com right so i'm simply providing here so when i when we will try to run this particular program what will happen let us see So you see we got one error why because as i mentioned that this driver need to know where is the chrome driver exe right so if you look at the log it is saying the path to the driver executable must be set by webdriver.com.driver system property because we are using chrome driver that's why it is giving suggestion for webdriver.com driver so now the next step is we need to download the dependency so to download the sorry we need to download the driver so how to download the driver so previously we used to download from here this was the endpoint and we used to download from here but from chrome 115 onwards they have changed the location and now the new location is this particular location right and as soon as you will land on this particular location we need to click on stable right and when you will come click on stable you need to go to the respective chrome driver so as we are working on windows so we will simply come here chrome driver windows 64 we will double click here we will copy this and we will provide the url here and as soon as we will hit we will get the driver downloaded right so in my case i have already downloaded and so what i will do so this is the path where i have downloaded it and i have extracted this as well right so what i will do i will simply copy this path and now i will go to intellij and remember this should be the first line before execution of this particular line we should let the system know that your driver exists at this location right so i'm simply going to provide this path so this is the key right which is going to be this because we are going to set the path for this which this particular driver needs right and now after this we need to provide chrome driver.exe as well right so this is what i'm talking about so i'll simply copy this and provide here now when we will try to execute this uh, program i'll simply use driver.quit as well so that it will quit and we won't have any issues right so that the chrome browser will get close so when i will run this time we will see that we will be able to execute the test cases so there was one miss i need to provide this colon and when we will do like this we will see that this time we will be able to execute the test case so you see that google.com got launched and it got terminated as well because we wrote driver.quit so we understood the concept of um, the system.set property uses now uh, as I mentioned, like Bonnie Gracia felt uh, or realized the need of creating an automated way of downloading the driver. So what he did in this case, um, he created one dependency, as I mentioned. So now we are going to discuss about this particular case, right? So what I will do, I will simply go here and add this particular dependency. Again, we will reload this project, right? So when we will reload this project, we will come here and we are now going to remove this particular line of code right and now i'm going to navigate to your location uh, where this web driver manager downloads right so we need to go to c then we need to go to users and prince patra uh, like my name and uh, then after cache and this is the location where it downloads so it is clean as of now because i have cleaned it up for this current lecture so what we are going to do now so we are going to use web driver manager this time and so dot chrome driver because this is chrome driver dot setup so this is the line of code that we need to write and rest of the things will be taken care internally so let us try to understand what actually it would be doing so it would be downloading the driver based on the browser installed in our system and then after it would be setting up the system dot set property internally but we don't need to worry about all this right so this way we can automate so let us try to run this 
so you see this previously it was one to one this time also it should be one to one only the browser version right so it is taking time because it is going to download the driver right so you see that execution took place right so you see that again it is one to one based on the browser installed in any system so let me go to that location so when we will go to this location you see that uh, this particular uh, folder got created so when i go inside this a chrome driver got created and then after this particular got created and chrome drive.exe so it is downloading this and then after it is setting up the path right so whatever we were doing manually we don't need to do anymore right so this is the second thing that we have covered web driver manager now when uh, uh, like selenium 4 came into the picture we don't need this particular web driver manager as well anymore right so now what i'm going to do i am simply going to change the version of selenium so i'll simply make it 4.12.0 and i'm going to comment this particular dependency as well because this is of no use now and i am going to create clean this folder as well because selenium manager will also use this particular folder so i'm going to delete this right now i have reloaded it and when i will go here i we won't need even this particular line of code now so now selenium has made it even simple so you don't need to rely on third party dependency or th like external dependency everything will be being taken care of. so it will look for the browser installed in your system and then it will uh, download the dependency okay so let us uh, try to understand the same and let us see uh, so why it is giving error because this panigrasia got uh, commented in the pom.xml that's why it was showing error so we need to comment this particular line of code as well now the next step is we will run this so when we will run this we will see what will happen so you see it is able to execute the test case right so you uh, so let us recap quickly so initially when we were not providing this system dot set property with selenium 3 it was not able to execute the test case and it was giving error right then we discussed about web driver manager we discussed about system dot set property first by setting uh, the driver download and how to download it and how to provide the executable then after we discussed about web driver manager to automatically take care of it then later selenium 4 introduced whatever the changes were here into the um, actual jar itself right now let us go to the cache so you see that again this folder got created and again we can see that chrome driver.exe got created so this is the evolution of how the driver downloads a uh, trend change from setting the using the system dot set property to the web driver manager to the to not using any kind of external dependency so this is what i wanted to cover as part of current video thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again